Hi there. Man, it's amazing to think Yamaha has been building four-stroke snowmobiles now for 10 years. Heck, it seems like only yesterday we were meeting in Japan to decide whether we were supposed to move forward with a two-stroke direction, or do we actually risk all and develop a complete line of four-stroke snowmobiles? It was a bold move, and in hindsight, it's been really fascinating watching how it's all unfolded. We had a pretty good idea how the snowmobiles would be accepted by the marketplace, but we certainly weren't prepared for everything. In the end, we've rolled with the punches and stayed true to our form that four strokes are the future of snowmobiling, and we've got them now. We knew that our competitors would have to follow us sooner or later. What we weren't prepared for was the marketing battle that was about to ensue between what's better, a two-stroke or a four-stroke. But now that everyone's gotten on board building four-stroke snowmobiles, we can get back to more traditional marketing, and that suits us just fine, because when it comes to four-stroke snowmobiles, Yamaha wrote the book. I think we've all had quite a bit of fun promoting and sometimes defending our four-stroke direction. And overall, I'd say we've held our own really well, especially in the face of some of the aggressive marketing campaigns that have been launched against us. For the past couple of seasons, our engineering departments adopted what we like to refer to as a high-tech strategy for our snowmobile product development. This can be seen most clearly in our flagship model Apex with EPS and EXA. And now this year, we've taken that same EPS and moved it into our mainstream models with the Vector and Venture series. We know there's still a lot of people that haven't had a chance to try an EPS-equipped snowmobile. They're probably sitting back right now wondering, is this the real deal? Is it worth it? Heck, maybe they've been on an ATV. Well, I remember when we launched the very first Grizzly with EPS, even our dealers doubted the benefits. And it wasn't until it became a real mainstream technology feature for all the manufacturers that it became top shelf, must have, gotta have EPS, right up there with electric start and reverse gear. I see now the magazines are giving us some pretty good coverage on EPS snowmobiles. Some of them are even going as far as saying that the others must soon follow. But just like ATVs, it's not gonna be until you can buy a green, red, or even a yellow sled with EPS that the magazines will tell you you gotta have it. That wouldn't really be cool. Well, guess what? You don't have to wait for the others to catch up. With the introduction of the new Vector and Venture, Yamaha has the trail market covered with fully featured snowmobiles right now, today. Just like ATVs, snowmobiles with EPS are more fun to ride and they will certainly have more value at resale than those that don't. We see it every day in our sales reports. Nobody wants an ATV anymore without power steering. So how long do you plan to keep your current sled? How about your next sled? With the cost of any new snowmobile these days, the smart money is seeking the most bang for the buck. And given Yamaha's quality, reliability, and this latest technology, powered by the world's best four-stroke engines, isn't it time we stop buying the sizzle and maybe take a look past the smoke for the steak?